Welcome to Beats per Homeo channel. Today I am going to explain one of the five most important abdominal organs has repeatedly asking the questions in university and in the final exams and competitive exams. All my videos are in the student way of learning. Now coming to the topic of the spleen. It is very simple to understand if you follow the whole video without any disturbance. Hold and film object with your right hand and hold and press on one side. It appears as a finger pressed as it appears as a spleen. Introduction The one you all know that spleen is a lymphoid organ. It filters and purifies the blood as it is a graveyard of RBC cells. And the spleen plays an important role in your immune system of response. When it detects the bacteria, virus and other germs in the blood, it produces a WBC and lymphocytes to fight with the infection. Coming to the location of the spleen, make all the 8 quadrants of the abdomen. Upper middle quadrant is epigastric, the middle one umbilicus and the lower hypogastric. And ripe hypochondria quadrant and left hypochondria quadrant. Right iliac quadrant and the left iliac quadrant. And left lumbar and right lumbar quadrants. The spleen occupies the quadrant of deep left hypochondriac region and little bit of epigastrium. Coming to the shape of the spleen, it is a wedge shaped or corn. In the stomach and the diaphragm. It is the shape of the wedge. tetrahedral shape it is wedged in between the fundus of the stomach and the diaphragm now coming to the dimensions of the spleen Just remember the odd numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and the mnemonic for T, P, L, W and 9 and 11 for ribs. T means thickness 1 inch, broad 3 inches, length 5 inches and weight 7 ounce and 9 and 11 for ribs now coming to the position of the spleen at which angle with the vertebra and ribs spleen lies in the position of oblique along the axis of the 10th rib and vertebrae 10 making a direction towards downwards forward and making angle with 45 degrees 
with the horizontal plane coming to the external features of this plane just remember the word base it covers all external features of this plane b for borders three borders a for angles two angles s for surfaces two surfaces e for ends two ends the three borders are superior border inferior border and intermediate border in the word base e for ends posterior end two ends posterior end and anterior end and a for angles two angles anterior basal angle and posterior basal angle coming to the anterior basal angle it is a junction between the superior border with anterior end and the anterior basal angle it is a junction between the posterior end with inferior border now coming to the peritoneal relations of this plane first draw a plane with a high level the peritoneal relations is with the three organs are stomach and and the left kidney and a part of tail of pancreas and cover with the peritoneum layer with all these organs this peritoneum makes the ligament so one ligament and another ligament covers the renal part and the tail of the pancreas the spleen organ the peritoneum greater curvature of the stomach relative with the peritoneum of the spleen covers with the renal left renal and the pancreas tail the peritoneum which covers the greater curvature of the stomach is called gastrocnemic ligament now the peritoneum of the spleen with the renal is called leno renal ligament the hilum of the spleen a short gastric artery which contains in the gastrocnemic ligament and the content in the leno renal ligament the splenic artery is present gastrocnemic ligament these are most important gastrocnemic ligament extends from the hilum of the spleen to the greater curvature of the stomach the contents it contains are short gastric vessel means gastric artery and lymphatic vessels 
एंड सिंपैथिक नर्व इन द लीन और रीनल लिगामेंट इट एक्सटेंड्स फ्रॉम द हाइलम ऑफ द स्प्लेन टू दंटेरियर सर्फेस ऑफ लेफ्ट किडनी The contents it contains are tail of pancreas, splenic vessels, and lymph nodes. And phrenico-colic ligament, third ligament. of peritoneal relation extends from the splenic flexure of colon to diaphragm the probable question asked in the competitive exam are which of the ligament is not attached to the hilum of the spleen is phrenico colic ligament it is the only ligament is not attached to the spleen just it supports the anterior end of the spleen let's discuss the visceral relations to the peritoneum the visceral relations relating with the spleen are tail of the pancreas and the left kidney and the supra renal gland and the splenic flexure of colon coming to the impressions of the spleen it is most important the hilum and superior border three border superior border inferior border and intermediate border the gastric impression only fundus it is in between the superior border and the interior intermediate border it is a large impression in the spleen only fundus part of the stomach and coming to the left renal kidney is in between the intermediate border and inferior border coming to the colon it is at the anterior end coming to the tail of the pancreas it is in between the 
intermediate border and at anterior end thank you for watching friends if you like this video please share to your friends and comment and like and subscribe thank you